welcome back guys and we have the treasure hunt amazon here for us i know it's been a while since i made any videos uh, i mean i love making youtube videos uh, but been quite uh, preoccupied with the real life stuff for a while hoping that uh, i could be more consistent now okay so we've reached up to this okay we are going to get a couple of masters and we haven't upgraded our team in i don't know forever i mean i'm like 117 overall right now and i have friends who are like 130 there's a huge difference okay now that uh, everybody is doing like lots of rank ups and all I still haven't uh, got my first rank up yet, but I want to do that uh, soon as well. I'm hoping that uh, maybe this event could uh, help me a bit to finally upgrade my squad. These events have some nice cards, especially the 100 rated card in this event. Uh, Casemiro is pretty good. Okay, we got uh, another 94 rated player. 94 we can use for uh, the rank ups of course i mean other than that there won't be much use because these players they are uh, their praise is worth uh, next to nothing so we cannot really get much by uh, selling them i hope i pay, uh, i get like a casemiro because he would directly go into my squad i'm going like i know like everybody is using like uh, 4 1 2 1 2 wide, but I'm thinking more like either uh, 4 2 3 1 narrow or uh, 4 1 or like a 4 2 2 2 uh, the formation with two uh, CDMs and all. And in there, I can use Casemiro as well, and guys. So I reached up to here, opened all the packs, uh, plenty of packs so far, and everything. I mean, uh, grinded as best as I could. and this is my first relic i couldn't pull uh, any glyphs i mean glyphs was the same as relics in sahara uh, so yeah that's the way it works okay and we get a 95 rated player in uh, guaranteed 95 plus yeah no surprises there right okay so i'll get uh, like 40 more relic fragments from this that's the only thing that uh, really matters in here and yeah this thing uh, i know this sometimes seems a bit crazy but if you have like seven then uh, you should be able to do this one in my opinion the key here would be to try different combinations and then remember the ones you use like uh, if this one the, i may get like nothing right but I still wouldn't use the white one in the first uh, place or the yellow in the second place or the orange in the third place in uh, any of my other attempts as well. Okay, so most probably, I mean, I've done this a couple of times uh, successfully. This is my third time doing this uh, temple thing. So yeah, I mean, uh, not too bad. At least we get some skill views and all that stuff. Okay, the wrong stone. So let's see. If you got any right, if you get like one or two right, then that uh, makes it even easier. Okay, so I got a couple of them right. So guys, which was the one that I put in the middle? There is a yellow one. So this time it was even easier. I know that it's not the yellow one. It's uh, so there's only like the other four, the blue, red, uh, green or violet. One of these... Uh, has to be the one in the middle i'm just going to put the green one if the green one doesn't work then again i should not try the green or yellow ones again i should uh, try the blue or uh, pul purple or red so yeah this time around we got a help of a bit of a lack i mean uh, in first attempt itself we got a couple of them right so that's even easier of course uh, there are uh, some people are saying there are certain methods and all but yeah, for me, uh, the method I'm doing it has worked for me. Uh, so this will be the third time I'm getting them and with uh, within a few of these uh, stones itself. So let's see if we pack it this time. Okay. 
is the green one so no that's not the green one and that's not the yellow one as well so not green and not yellow okay so it has to be a uh, purple red or blue now that's the thing we need to remember so now there's only three options left purple uh, blue or red I'm going to do with uh, the purple one then uh, we'll have two left red or blue this is only two that we left so within uh, three more attempts we will definitely get our uh, this treasure from the temple you may get uh, some nice rank up tokens and all from this one again i'm not too big a fan of a lack factor events i mean plenty of you many of you must have got prime icon okocha i did not i did not even uh, pull any of those glyphs from the event i mean only the guaranteed one so yeah that uh, that happens sometimes now this new event the treasure hunt amazon has dropped and within the first few hours itself uh, there are people who got ronaldino and there are uh, lots of people who got uh, like four uh, or five relics so far so yeah that's the thing with the game and sometimes you may grind all 14 days and you may not get him so yeah i'm not a fan of lack based events but yeah i mean any event when there is no lack then it was always like it was not completely non obtainable for the free to play players so but yeah i mean at least this is good for some but not the way really i want it to be i would i would definitely prefer like uh, how it was for sanity or marco van basten i mean you grind and you get it uh, i mean by the time you guys are watching this video i believe the next level or the the next head to head must be live we will be getting a prime icon rubelich uh, in that one so again that is something i'm very happy with of course uh, those who do not have uh, the minimum phone requirements and all won't be able to get him but it is something where you can grind and get i mean we say everyone could play uh, but we say at 1.8 million most of us won't reach more people especially free to play, play uh, players and all they reach uh, head to head more like 1.8 million head to head that's like uh, thousands of people reach there so thousands of people could actually earn the prime icon in there so that's the uh, that's the way i hope events should be i mean it could be vsa or head to head uh, both are like all right for me i could play either I just wish that uh, you could grind for them like prestige last year you could grind and get that roberto carlos okay so yeah we have unlocked the chest and we got some nice rank up tokens we haven't done any rank ups yet we have enough to do uh, 11 rank ups so guys uh, we will get to it soon i'm hoping that uh, we will get to it soon maybe in a day or two itself i will uh, start doing rank ups maybe we'll do a massive rank ups and all again guys uh, when we start the hunt here i hope i get a legendary skill boost or epic skill boost even because there are some amazing cheap beasts with epic skill boost that i can use for head to head and all so epic or legendary skill boost or the rank tokens is what i wish for but Sometimes we get uh, the likes of um, common skill boost and all which uh, I do not need. Guys, then again, uh, it is uh, it's like free stuff, so I don't mind. So once again, it will be epic boost for me. Of course, uh, the rank ups will be the best one. But again, uh, we have an option to change this uh, by using gems and all. But I, I wouldn't do that. I mean... Uh, these stones these treasure stones these are like free so i wouldn't waste my gems on them i will like get them and i will open these i'll play this temple thing when i have uh, when i have like enough like seven of these stones i have that's when i would play this and guys this uh this ronaldino card this is just it's unreal it's uh 
just uh, simply a god level uh, camp card in this game just uh, the best i would really love to get him but we need like six relics of course i needed uh, like four and i still couldn't get him but i'll definitely be getting this guy casemiro a central defensive midfielder with 104 short power with good marking and uh, standing tackle and also yeah i'm definitely getting him guys the out of the six of these relics you need for getting ronaldino one you would get like you saw early in the video of me getting that one the guaranteed one from the hidden rarity tab and we will buy uh okay we can play this match the one difference with the previous event is that this match we can only play one time uh, it may seem like a bad idea but for people who have less time i would say it's a good idea because you can get 15 relic fragments by winning once earlier in the previous event you had to actually win the match 15 times uh, to get 15 fragments which again was not easy for people uh, who are uh, like studying or working or something so yeah and by getting these 15 fragments every day you can guarantee enough to get like uh, one uh, relic you can combine 200 uh, relic fragments to get one relic so yeah there's like a uh, two guaranteed ones and we have 14 days to pack uh, four of those so guys all the best i hope i get ronaldino and i hope you guys get him as well i hope uh, the drop rates are good i saw a lot of people getting a coach i mean Almost every match I play in head to head, uh, the opponent has Okocha. I hope this that's the same case with Ronaldino. I mean, the same case plus uh, I should also get him. So guys, good to be back, and I'm hoping that we all get this amazing Ronaldino card and the prime icon in the head to head as well. So we'll be going after that one as well. So guys, see you soon, and good to be back.